Do y'all see that? How he just got in place when I turned my camera on? That is absolutely ridiculous. I swear the dog likes being on camera. Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a comparison of all of my top five recent foundation purchases. I wanted to do this video because I've done quite a few foundation reviews <laughs> within the past year and we need to compare them, okay? We need to see what's really good, which one's really the best. Y'all need the tea. It's one thing to do a foundation review with one foundation and swatch it on my skin, but when you see all of the foundations next to each other, completely different story, completely different. And y'all know I struggle with foundation matches, but it's really cool to see the difference between each of the foundations compared to each other. So that's what we're gonna do. And also, I think I'm gonna rank them, you know? Let's make this video a little spicy. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for supporting my videos. If you're a newbie and you've been here over and over, I don't know, maybe this is your second or third video of mine, go ahead and subscribe and stop playing, okay? Stop that. Shenanigans. Malarkey. Cut the tomfoolery. Subscribe, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and get into all the foundation comparisons just so you guys can see what's really going on. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the Fenty Skin Tint. This is not necessarily a foundation, but it is a recent purchase, and I wanted to bring it up in this video. So, so this skin tint is exactly what it says. It's a very, very light coverage tint to the face. This is pretty much how you would use a tinted moisturizer. You can apply this with your fingers all over the face. It just gives a very, very, very light coverage. Now, as you guys can tell from the swatch on my face, this skin tint is it's orange, okay? Y'all know I have had an ongoing struggle with Fenty Complexion products. They're always very orange on me. I've tried 385 in the foundation. That one came across very ashy. So I'm kind of in limbo when it comes to Fenty Complexion products. But this one, I figured since it's a skin tint, it's light coverage. By the time I blend it out, the orange pigment would not be as visible. Typically, as I wear this foundation throughout the day, it does get quite oily on my skin. A lot of oils break through. It's not gonna keep me looking mattified and it's not gonna give me that look. Since I've had this foundation for a long time, it's not one of my favorites to reach for, but I do enjoy this on a day for very light coverage when I'm gonna be outdoors, just using it very lightly for minimal coverage and just like a nice skin glow. The next foundation that I showed you guys was the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. Now, I actually really do like this foundation. When I first purchased this, I was very concerned about the undertone because it is a pink undertone. I don't have no pink undertones in my skin, y'all. I mean, pink wear. And also, you guys can see when I swatch this, it does look pretty light in the swatch, but as I blend it out, it definitely kind of goes into the skin very nicely. I'm not mad at this shade match. The finish of this foundation is also a natural finish. It gives medium to buildable coverage, which I really like. And I also don't feel like my skin looks very oily at the end of the day when I wear this for a long time. So it holds up really well. Overall, this is a very decent foundation match for me. Despite it having pink undertones, I feel like it could be just a little bit warmer, which would make me a lot more happy. But for Morphe, I'm not mad at this at all. The next foundation that I have to show you guys is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. Y'all should probably be able to tell by the swatch, this foundation literally just, it just, it blended right in. The blend, immaculate. This foundation swatches beautifully on my skin. It's in the shade 157W. For a drugstore foundation, I was so surprised by how well this foundation swatched. Mind you, this is the foundation that I'm wearing right now. I mean, This foundation is one of the best matches that I have in my entire collection. When everything comes together on my face, okay. concealer, bronzer, blush, magic. This is a medium buildable coverage, so it builds up nicely. If you want medium coverage, it looks good. And also, if you wanna build it up to full coverage, it looks great. Now, also, I have noticed in the bottle, there's like a little bit of discoloration, and I'm not sure if, that, if that's because I've had it for a long time and it oxidizes in here, but but I think it does oxidize in here a little bit, so it might be time for me to repurchase a new one. But this is definitely one of my favorites. I love this foundation. The next foundation I'm showing you guys is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I recently featured this foundation in a video, and I told you guys that I actually really enjoyed it. Like, I really, really liked it. Since that video, I've worn this quite a few times. The shade match is pretty good. I do like the shade match. I have this in the shade 12 neutral, and for a neutral foundation, this is very warm. And as you can see in the swatches, it does translate quite yellow on my skin. So if this is neutral, what does the warm 
them shades look like because this is giving warm honey. And I have been finding it so confusing to figure out what my undertone is because I feel like my skin goes back and forth when I'm matching foundations. Like one time I'm neutral, the next time I'm warm. So I, y'all honestly, I don't even know what I am at this point. I can't, your girl can't figure it out. And also the wearability of this foundation definitely does produce a little bit more oils than some of the other foundation that I have. I do notice that I get a little bit more shiny, so it does require a little bit more powder when I'm setting my foundation. This foundation is also a medium buildable coverage, and I have found that I do get a really, really good base with this foundation. I feel like this is a really good winter foundation for me because my skin does not get as oily in the winter, especially because I'm not sweating, I'm not out in the heat, but I'm a little bit curious to see how this is gonna wear in the summer when I am producing a lot of oil, when I am producing a lot of sweat. Like, what is this actually gonna look like if I already get a little shiny now? And the final foundation that I'm gonna show you guys is the Makeup Forever foundation. This is in the shade 4Y60. When I swatch this foundation, it does blend into my skin really, really nice. It's a very, very soft, matte, natural finish. This is the most matte foundation that I have out of all five of the foundations that I'm showing you today. And I do have to say that I, I think I do like this foundation finish on me the most because of my skin type. As for the match, I don't feel like this is the perfect match for me. I know a lot of you guys in the comment section thought that this was like the perfect match for me. I'm still playing with this foundation. I like how it looks when everything is put together, but sometimes when I first apply the foundation, I'm a little skeptical. But I do think this wears really, really nice. It makes my skin look really, really good. When I first did the review, I did see a little bit of texture on my skin, but now since I figured out how to maneuver the foundation and which brushes I like to use, I don't feel like the texture is there at all and it just lays on my skin beautifully. Now, out of all of these complexion products, y'all, I have a hard time picking favorites, okay? I'm not the kind of girl that's gonna be like, oh yeah, this is my favorite. I, uh, mm. Do I feel like I need all of these foundations? Probably not. Probably not. If there was one that I say that I could probably do without, I would say this one, skin tint. I mean, it's not really giving me any coverage. It's just giving a skin tint and it's also a little bit orange. So we can just go ahead and put this one to the side. So Miss Fenty, you're gonna be in fifth place because you don't really add too much to the skin. You just add a little orange tint and I'm gonna have to put you in fifth. You're still cute, but you're in fifth. My fourth place foundation, the one that I would say that, you know, I can do with or without. I wouldn't wanna get rid of it, but she's not the best, Morphe. Only reason I'm putting this one in fourth is because the shade is definitely a little bit light when I swatch it. It does look nice. The pinkiness I can kind of see sometimes in certain lighting, so it gets a little questionable sometimes, you know? It's still a really good one. Now we're getting down to the wire, okay? Hmm, I don't know which one I should say. Third place foundation. This is just my personal opinion. It's my opinion. Make it forever. She's cute. She's that girl, she looks nice, matte finish. I really, really like it. The shade match does not make me it doesn't make me feel safe and secure all the time. Like I'm still dibbling and dabbling, trying to see if I actually really love this. I think I love it, but I'm still on the fence. So that's why this one is number three for me. <sighs> I don't know, y'all let me know. Should I have this one ranked a little bit higher? Maybe, who knows? Second place for me, <sighs> Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna tell you why it's second place, okay? This foundation right here I think is like $16 and this is $44, okay? There's no comparison. If the shade match on this one is that good, the finish is that similar, then I'm sorry my friend, this one wins, this one gets second place. I really like this ColourPop foundation and I really like this Charlotte Tilbury foundation as well. But if I have to choose between $44 and a $16 foundation and one looks better than the other, you best believe I'm going to Ulta to get that drugstore, okay? I'm going to Ulta to get that ColourPop. So if you guys are in the market for any new foundations, I hope that this video will serve you as a reference. I don't know if I match all of you guys. In my head, I thought this was gonna be helpful, so 
take what you can get. Let me know in the comments which foundation you think looks the best on me. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed yet, you try trifling, good for nothing type of, uh-uh. Come on, sis. What else I gotta do? Okay, what I gotta do to get a subscriber around here, huh? Y'all want me to, what y'all want me to do, twerk? Okay, what, y what do y'all want me to do? Nah, I ain't gonna get on here and twerk. Nah, we ain't doing that. Try another channel. Also, turn on the notification bells so you guys get reminders when I upload my videos because I feel like everybody's not getting the, everybody's not getting the upload memo, okay? Turn the notification bell on, okay? Anyway, I will see you guys in my next one.